Full coil. What does that mean? Well, it comes in different brands, different manufacturers. And most importantly, it comes with different viscosity. What does viscosity mean? Layman's terms, thickness. Is it running like tap water? Or do you need a spoon to pour it out with? It doesn't quite get that bad, but you get the analogy. So, usually, your manufacturer will specify what fork oil viscosity belongs in your forks. And that is in a factory shop service manual. And that goes with that bike. So, if you want to keep your bike at factory spec, you do exactly what the manual says and you take the bike in and you get it changed to the same volume. But to do that, you have to strip it completely. And one of the most common mistakes I find is that it's not been clear on the work order what to do. So, if we're talking about viscosity, if you are heavier, and use the bike aggressively, a thicker viscosity, and we have a 10 weight and a 15 weight here, but there's also a five and a seven. A, fit, a thicker viscosity oil will actually be very helpful to you. If you are slightly on the lighter side, then a slightly thinner viscosity might also help the suspension work better for you. It's not what the manual says. So, Back to life of Brian and somebody saying Jehovah and rocks throwing from all different angles. Can you change viscosity other than what the manufacturer says? And for me, absolutely. Because how much do these cost versus how much does it cost to get a new cartridge kit? 1300 bucks. How much is this? How much is that? So changing oil viscosity can really help you based on your weight. The other way it can help you is seasonally. Maybe you run thinner oil through the winter because it's colder and that forks stick out in ambient air so they stay cold. So thinner oil might give you much, much better fork response in the winter. Summer, much harder, go to thicker oil. You can stay within the brand the manufacturer suggests or recommends or you can go outside of that. So viscosity is very, very useful and not just the book says this, so this is all you get. You just have to think outside the bun or the box or however you frame that. The other part about viscosity, Bell Ray's 10 weight is not Maxima's 10 weight. So Google a fork oil viscosity chart, see what your manufacturer recommends in their service shop manual and then see what that viscosity index number is. If you want to go heavier, you go to a bigger number. If you want to go lighter, you go to a smaller number. Do a little research. Fork oil is cheap. You're supposed to change it about every 6,000 miles, maybe 10,000 miles maximum. Would you keep your engine oil in 10,000 miles? No. Change your fork oil because with age, it breaks down and it gets thinner, so the viscosity changes. There's a bunch of other things, but that's the final point to leave you with. You'd never leave your engine oil in over 10,000 miles. Don't leave your fork oil in. How much do we depend on the front end? For braking, steering, corner entry, a lot. This stuff's cheap, but be diligent. Google the fork oil viscosity chart, make your choices, spend a little research, and see what you end up with oil. But remember, somebody's 10 weight is not somebody else's 10 weight. So please be diligent. If you need more information, go to the DM Tuning app or go to Dave Moss Tuning on YouTube where there's tons of video available for you. Be sure to check out the Dave Moss Tuning app for iOS and Android. There you'll find grundles and grundles of information on tires, suspension setup, and more.